Hello, this is Jeff with Morvold Press, and we are going to work on creating terrain on cave floors today. This was a question that came up uh, in my Discord today, so I thought it was something that maybe other people have been struggling with as well. So we're going to go up here to the upper left of the design tool. We're going to go down to cave brush. We're going to select that, and then we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and make a cave here. I'm going to make it kind of broad so that we can kind of see it working and I don't have to worry too much about tight corners. So as you can see, uh, once you make the cave floor, um, you know, you, you can choose your ground color, your wall color, and have those kind of specifications. Um, but you cannot change um, the layering, right? You can't, it, it's unlike objects, unlike other things within an unlike pattern shape tool, which has a layer option, unlike objects, uh, which will have a layer option. Um, even unlike things like Material Brush, which has a layer option. You can see that here the layer hierarchy starts with terrain, and then below ground will be above terrain. Caves will be above terrain. So that means that if I choose terrain, and I want to, say, have some grass outside, that the, the terrain underneath it will not show through the caves. And because I cannot manipulate the layer level of the terrain or the layer level of the caves, that means that I'm not able to layer terrain above the cavern floor in case I wanted to. There might be a reason texturally. I, I'm creating a cavern that is the home of a druid or is the home has for some reason has snow inside or has sand inside or has something that I want to represent inside the cave. So I think a lot of people then will turn their only options are two things. One is their option is to go to pattern shape tool and choose something like like this, um, the tile set straw, um, and then change the color that is kind of appropriate to what they're trying to do. Like maybe if it's snow, they might want to choose a white. And then, you know, at least this provides them turning snap off so I can kind of manipulate this. I'm going to choose the kind of polygon tool. So then they could come in here and they could, you know, make little shapes or something of that nature. And and that would kind of look like snow, but uh, it still is is this draw tile set, so it's not ideal. So we're gonna take that off. So one way that you can get terrain inside, another thing, sorry, before I make that point, another thing would be I can, wa I can draw water inside um, of my cave. But one of the nice things about terrain outside of a cave is I can put terrain, or uh, water outside of a cave, is I can put terrain underneath it. Um, so I can put some grass underneath it and that'll give it some texture below the water. I can also use something like texture gravel um, to add in there and maybe you know make it look like there's some rocks or something underneath the water which is kind of nice texturally to be able to play with and have those options I could thin those out a little bit by by choosing grass again and then just single clicking over there so what I'd like to do is, is recreate this inside the cave so let's get rid of the water we're gonna do that by clicking water brush hitting alt while we use the water brush over the space and that will erase all the water we're gonna erase this water okay so that's gone then we're going to come over here with terrain and we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take the dirt terrain and just move that over here. Looks like we got just a little bit of water left. And there we go, for the sake of completeness. So uh, the way we do that is we'll go to Cave Brush and there's an option here, Blast Open. Now, Blast Open to me had always meant that if I wanted some section of the cave to not appear, some part of the wall did not appear because I had um, a building. So let's let's draw that real quick just so you can see what I mean. Let's say I had like a, a, a building that's going to be up against the cave that I want. So let me take my cave wall now, cave brush, and let's brush the uh, the cave. Actually, let's, I made a mistake there and hit the blast open. So let's, let's make our cave adjacent to the wall. So if I do that, the wall disappears. But maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want this to kind of go right up against the wall. So let's see if I can get it as close to the wall as possible without making the wall disappear. All right, that's pretty good. So obviously we have our cave that's you know through this wall, through this building. I can use the blast open. And the blast open will then kind of remove the edge of the wall so that it can it can I could have a door, like a secret door or something that goes in. Or I could go in here and choose a portal like this portal. Let's drill in here. So I could choose this portal and have that be, and maybe that's what I want. So let's go back and change the cave brush. We'll take blast, we'll keep it on blast open, but we'll narrow the brush size and I'll use alt to get rid of where I had made the, the brush before. 
And now let's go ahead and just click here for blast open and, and kind of minimize the amount. So now we just have this small hole that's leading into this. You can see though what we're leading into, and this will be the point I'm making is when you use blast open, it not only affects the walls of the cave, but it affects the floor of the cave. So let's back up a space. This, this is kind of my in, my, in my opinion, this is the intent of blast open is to be able to say, I have this terrain or this structure or this whatever, and I want it to blast open into the cave. So there's kind of a unfettered natural a hole that a contiguous hole that leads into that. I don't have to represent it by an asset. It's just you see walking in through and it goes right into the cave. Um, so I think that's what a lot of people think of for the blast tool. So let me get rid of the building. And in fact, and so I think in this case, um, what you're seeing here is maybe a, a slightly clearer idea um, without the building. Um, if I have the blast open, right, then I can I can say, oh, okay, well, Obviously, if it's coming from a big grassy area, there might be a little bit of grassy area when you walk into the cave, uh, and there it is. Um, what is interesting, though, is if I want something, let's say we're deep in a cave somewhere. We've already entered the cave, so there isn't really any kind of bleed through, but we're in the middle of the cave, and we want to represent terrain here, represent water with terrain beneath it. So what we can do is use the blast open, and we can come in here and basically say, I want this area open on the floor. And so now this space is open, and if I go to my terrain and choose, let's say, grass again, I can fill this in. It will only fill in the area that I did the blast open on. It does a really nice job of kind of giving me an interesting border, um, so it looks kind of natural, right? And in this case here, I can come and pick now the water brush, and I can put some this this pool of water maybe that is in this area, and then I can choose my terrain brush with gravel, and I can start stick some gravel in here All right so now i have something that gives me a little bit more variety that i can place inside of the cave structure and still have the terrain options and still have water with terrain beneath it so i can kind of create complex environments that are with the cave but are not limited to assets not limited to materials not limited to only the components that give me the ability to choose a layer so I thought that would be helpful. Um, I certainly found it helpful when I was designing caves like this and wanted to have a natural setting inside a cave and access to all of my terrain uh, features as well as the, the nice things they bring with layering with things like water um, and placing assets on things like grass without being forced to use the only you know grass assets you know, one can really place outside of the assets in the materials. These are, are fairly limiting in color. Um, they're fairly limiting in, in how you place them. And so having the ability to use the blast open brush on the floor of a cave to provide you with a now visibility into the terrain layer can open up a lot of options to create um, all kinds of scenarios that you might want to create for your uh, maps. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I uh, hope it helps you out.